Lenovo HX Series solutions are focused on making it easier for administrators to manage their infrastructure. Now, with the self-service portal, administrators can provide flexibility for end users to easily request and provision resources on their own with a simplified portal interface. Let's first look at the administrator console. We've logged in here to the self-service portal as an administrator, and we can see our current workloads that we're running on this cluster. We can also see the projects that we've defined. In this case, we've defined two different projects, and I can even select one of these projects to get a little bit more detail on exactly what's happening uh, on this setup. We can see here I've got the top users by resource utilization, only got two users, users currently defined, but if I if I mouse over the end here, I can see the two different user uh, impacts here. Uh, if I want to get into more detail on actual utilization or the virtual machines that are currently defined, I can get a feel for what's currently happening in my infrastructure and what workloads these uh, users are, are deploying. Let's go back to the, the top level here. Right? Let's look at a couple other things. Certainly, I can define different roles for users. I can define the users themselves. The catalog items is what I define, and this is really going to set up what my end users can choose from when they log into the portal. What helps me control what workloads they can deploy uh, and make sure that they're, uh, they're using uh, approved uh, catalog items, uh, images, or virtual machines to set up their environment. All right, so let's go and look at uh, exactly what the end user sees when they log in. So I'm going to sign out as admin, and we're going to sign back in here as one of my users. So from the view, user viewpoint, uh, now I can come in. If I'm the if I'm the uh, the end user, I can see the the workloads that I'm currently running. So I currently have uh, four virtual machines that I've deployed. Uh, they're all powered on. If I want to interact with these, uh, I can simply come in here and select. Uh, that particular system. You can see here that I have uh, access to the console. So if I need to go do some things uh, on the system, I can certainly uh, certainly do that. And I can also get information uh, from a summary viewpoint. What's my CPU utilization been, for example? Um, IP addresses, anything else that I might need to know about that particular uh, workload. So it's, it's allowing me to manage the workloads that I'm, I'm responsible for. Uh, but let's say I want to add a new workload, right? Again, this is part of being able to have uh, self-service uh, support uh, to make it easier. So I'm going to come in here now. I'm going to select uh, from uh, one of my VM templates. And I've got two that are identified. Notice I do have a search bar here. If I had many to choose from, I could search through a longer list. But in this case, I've really only got two uh, that I'm going to be able to deploy. So I'm going to select the, the DB server uh, template. And uh, it's going to allow me to uh, to give it a, a name here. So let's uh, let's give it a uh, Dave New DB. Uh, and I can also select which project I'm going to assign it to. Right in this case, I'm as an end user, I've got a couple of different projects that I'm working on, and I can select which project uh, this particular machine is going to be associated with. Let's leave it in the uh, analytics project. And then I've got some defaults down here that uh, uh, that I can choose from. I also have some advanced settings if I needed to, to change uh, the CPU or memory utilization. Uh, note that there are constraints that as the administrator could be put on this. So uh, I don't have free, free realm to just uh, add anything in here that I want. I do have limits that can be assigned uh, for, the, uh, for the project. In this case, I'm just going to take the defaults, select Save, uh, and it's going off now. We can see at the top here the little blue uh, indicator here. Uh, letting me know that it's in the process now of, uh, of deploying that, uh, that virtual machine for me. If I click on this, right, we see it's uh, currently creating this, uh, this new uh, virtual machine. And in just a moment here, now we're seeing that the uh, virtual machine is created. And uh, there it is right there. In fact, let's just go ahead just to kind of prove the point. We're going to look at it. And we can see now that it's in the process of, uh, of starting up. So as you can see, the self-service portal makes it easy for end users to provision the workloads they need when they need it, and at the same time freeing up infrastructure administrators to focus on other projects.